handcrafted by racers, but remastered. This is how Mercedes-Benz is describing the new Mercedes-AMG GTR, and here are the things you need to know about the latest version of the Beast of Green Hell. The new AMG GTR comes with it a few changes, more noticeably in the redesigned headlamps with the three chamber projectors and the redesigned tail lights. Other improvements also include a whole lot of air vents and slits to improve cooling performance, channeling air more efficiently to the car's radiators. Other things to note about the exterior, you get carbon fibre side mirror caps and three exhaust outlets, one main one in the centre with two flanking it by the side. Elsewhere, you get mixed size wheels, 19 inch in the front, 20 inch in the back, where the rear tyres are 335 mm wide. The new GTR also comes with plenty of stopping power with six port calipers in the front and carbon ceramic discs all around, which will be necessary because of what's lying underneath here. At the heart of this beast is a 4-litre twin turbocharged V8 that makes 585 horsepower and 700 newton meters of torque. Together with the 7-speed DCT gearbox, it can go from 0 to 100 in just 3.6 seconds. If there's plenty enough room on the road, it will go all the way up to 315 kilometers an hour. If you thought the exterior looks really cool, get a load of this interior, man. The first thing you'd notice are these full bucket seats with four-point harness only for the driver, a steel roll cage, a fire extinguisher as part of the track package, but what I think is really cool are the controls by the steering here. On the right, you get a little round knob, just like the ones in the Ferraris and the Porsches to control the drive settings, and a couple of switches on the left side of the steering to control the transmission, whether you want to have it in automatic or manual, and to control the front spoiler. What I really like though is this little yellow round knob here that controls the sensitivity of the traction control to allow you to go as sideways as you possibly dare. Alongside the updated AMG GTR, Mercedes-Benz Malaysia also introduced the new GTC with 557 horsepower and 680 newton meters of torque from the same engine. 0 to 100 takes just 3.7 seconds. But really, why would you want the slower version of a fast car? 1.7 million ringgit. That's what it will cost you to have this beast in your garage. While the GTC will set you back 1.5 million ringgit. For more information on the new Mercedes-AMG GTR and GTC, do log on to autobus.my.